Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Micro Ornaments and Crime Special Edition by Tall Dog. What exactly makes this Ornament and Crime module micro? Well, instead of the normal 14 HP that uh, Ornament and Crime modules are, this is only 8 HP wide. And what makes it a special edition is because of the, well, the redesigned uh, well, front panel. So you do have well, some, some changes on the IO, uh, but also some redesigns on the controls as well. Um, other than that, I am reviewing the D revision of this module and that offers some other differences from other ornament and crime modules as well, as we will uh, figure out uh, during this video. So I do have to thank Tall Dog for making this video possible. And for now, I would just say, well, hope you guys are sitting down because um, here we go. Brilliant. So here we've got the Micro Ornament and Crime Ezzy by Tall Dog. And one of the things I do have to point out is that I'm now currently reviewing the D revision of this Tall Dog module. And that will become quite important going forward. So this is the first ornament and crime review that I'm doing. Um, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to redo a lot of the great work that other people have already done. So what I'll promise is that I'm going to put a link to a series of great uh, well introductions to all of the capabilities of ornament and crime and hemispheres uh, by synth that and i'm going to put that in the description below what i will do in this video is dive into the actual tall dog module that we have in front of us today because it is different from other ornament and crime modules out there and of course, it, this is a micro ornament in crime, so it is indeed only 8 HP wide. Is that true what I'm saying? Yes, that's 8 HP. And it does have a different layout from some of the other micro ornament and crime modules out there. So the most important difference is, of course, that this has the triggers, the CV inputs and the outputs all aligned vertically instead of horizontally. So that's one thing. And it does have a different layout for the encoders and buttons. But still, nothing really important there whatsoever. Um, the real difference will be visible when I turn this around. So where most of the ornament and crime modules have the so-called teeny microcontroller, teensy microcontroller installed, uh, this one has a direct uh, Cortex M4 chip. So what this means is that you can't use the uh, the TNC bootloader. So you will need to have something else in place in order to update or change the actual firmware on this uh, on this module. So what we then have is we'll need to have something else. So what I've done following Dan's recommendation from uh, Tall Dog, I've bought the J-Link Mini Edu. And that is essentially a, well, um, a, a probe of sorts. Let me just grab it real quickly. Where did I put that thing? I've lost it. So there you go. So what we then actually have is we have the actual probe here and as you can see, this has a ribbon connector and a micro USB connector there. And it then comes with several ribbon cables that you can use. So I'm actually going to be using the, the smallest one there. And I'm just going to connect that to the ribbon cable connector on the one side. And it also comes with a rather short <laughs> micro uh, SD to USB A cable. Um, which I can't use in this video. So I'm just going to be using another micro USB cable. And what we then do is we just grab the other end of the ribbon connector and we connect it to that port there. And this can only be done one single way because of the uh, the slot there. So I'm just going to connect that real quickly. Oh, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Take it slowly. There we go. So just turn this around again. 
and we now have the J-Link Mini right there. I'm just going to connect that to USB. There you go. You can already see that it's lighting up, so it's it's connected to my laptop. And if I now turn on power, it'll actually just boot into whatever firmware you've got running. So currently I'm running the stock Ornament and Crime firmware. So what I then need to do is I need to do several things. So let's say I want to update this firmware. What we can then do is, of course, if you follow the well the steps on the Ornament and Crime website, uh, which I'll be linking to in the description below as well, and you go to firmware, installation and upgrading, it does say, well, okay, well, if you have a pre-compiled hex file, the first thing you need to do is use the TNC loader. That's not <laughs> not the case here. Uh, what you actually need to do, and that is actually mentioned here in the J-Link micro packaging, is you need to go to the Sager website. So again, I've got the uh, the link there. So I'm going to use this link and paste it into the description as well. So you need to download the J-Link software and documentation pack for the operating system of your choice of the one that you're using, whether it's Windows, Linux, or Mac. So I'm running the 64-bit Windows, of course. And once you've done that, uh, you can just go, uh, once you install that, it's nothing fancy. It's just a next, next finish installation. Uh, you can actually go to uh, your start menu and you go all the way down to the S. Where is it? S, Sega, J Link, J Flash Lite. That's the one that we want to be using. You'll get a pop up saying, well, it's a development tool and not designed to be used for production purposes. Well, that's okay. And what you then need to do is you need to select the device that you're using. So in, in our case, you need to make sure that you select the MK12, sorry, the MK20 DX256, so 256 triple X7. So if you click there, you can actually just type it in there. MK20 DX, and you then have the 265 triple uh, X7 so that's this one so again I'm gonna put this description in the description below as well so you can just copy and paste it I'm just gonna leave the interface at its default settings for now so just click OK and what you can then do is you can select a hex file that you want to upload and that actual hex file can of course be the default ornament and crime firmware so you can actually just go here and uh, connect to the uh, to the GitHub and download the latest or the um, the latest one or the pre-release. So I'm just going to download the pre-release for now. The 136 dot hex, and you can just go into your JLink again. Go to your downloads where you have the ornament and crime hex file. Select it and then press program device. You do get a pop-up saying, okay, well, are you sure? And you can only use this if you're using it for educational purposes, not for commercial usage. Of course, that's just fine. And there you go. You'll immediately see that the module itself has been rebooted with the new firmware, and there you have it. So the same thing is, of course, true if you want to use the, well, any sort of alternative firmware. Uh, I think that currently the most um, popular alternative firmware for Ornament and Crime is Hemisphere. So you can go to the Hemisphere GitHub. Again, links in the description below. And you can go to the releases. Just click on the release there and download the hex file. Once you've got it, go to your JLink software, select the Hemisphere hex file, program device, accept. And you'll see that the module itself will be rebooted into Hemisphere. There you go. And everything is working. So this does, of course, mean that um, if you are running the D revision of the Tall Dog Micro Ornament and Crime SE, that you will need to make sure that you buy yourself a J-Link Mini Edu. It won't set you back 
uh, a tremendous amount of money. I've bought mine for 15 euros, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which would be the equivalent of $18 or, well, it's equivalent in, <laughs> in pound sterling or whatever your uh, local currency is. Um, one of the benefits of this is you don't need to boot into a bootloader before you can actually flash your module. You can just do this on the fly. It is a very stable and very, well, well, predictable process. And I do hope that this video will help everyone who is, um, who is running into uh, these kind of challenges with this module. Other than that, I do have to say that the module itself, I, I love it. And that goes beyond that. I just love the, uh, the functionality of, of ornament and crime and hemisphere. Uh, but I just love this, this specific tall dog module. And the reason for that is, um, I've got the, the black and gold version. Um, there's also a, a silver and black version. So I love the aesthetic. It fits my overall rack. Um, I do like the, the approach of the, well, the transposed inputs and outputs it makes it a bit more logical if you ask me and well it's <laughs> i've heard people complaining about instability with their ornaments and crime modules um i haven't experienced that for myself as this is the first ornament and crime module that i'm reviewing uh, but i haven't had any sort of technical trouble with this whatsoever um, so again this is a great choice if you're looking for an ornament and crime going forwards um make sure that you uh, you get the latest, the D revision, because it does offer that um, uh, the the direct Cortex M4, and you don't need to have the TNC loader or boot loader there. Uh, it has, that has some advantages, but do make sure that you then also pick up uh, one of these, these, these probes in order to, for you to can actually upgrade it um, whenever you want. Uh, other than that, I would say, well, let's go back to the studio and uh, wrap this up. Thanks so much. Cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the Micro Ornament and Crime Special Edition by Tall Dog, whom I have to thank for making this episode possible. Um, so as already mentioned, this was a bit of a different video altogether uh, because I do have to uh, recognize some other uh, creative makers out there that have done tremendous videos on Ornament and Crime and all of its features and functionalities and applications. And I just did, I just wanted to focus on this module and some of the differentiators that this has uh, compared to some of the other uh, o, uh, <laughs> OC modules out there. And of course, I wanted to focus on the different approach to flashing this as well. So as always, make sure that if you do pick up uh, one of these D-Revision Ornament and Crime modules from Tall Dog that you will need to get one of these probes. So I'm, I'm using the J-Link here, uh, but there are other uh, solutions out there. But again, I'm going to link to everything in the description below. That being said, I would now say make sure that uh, if you want to support this channel that you uh, look at the links below. And for now, I would just say, well, please, everyone, stay safe. Stay healthy and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.